brightest light. Community laborers won the trimmings on the tree, but boasted of their beauty all as seems to be plainly seen. The Christmas lights were arguing, the red ones and the blue, but then the green ones got involved, the orange and yellow too. Their vain ambitions drew the eye as others looked at them. They craved it all and thought each one had such a precious gem. So all the lights and ornaments with all the tinsel too continued with their arguments on who was best in who. Then shaking all, a booming voice was heard from very top, and it had brought the bickering to prompt and sudden stop. Yes, way atop the Christmas tree and higher than the rest, this star had boasted he by far was brightest and the best. So slowly came a rising sound in fear at such a sight, applause for such a brilliant star and eating the brightest light. Content then they seemed to be to look to such a thing. But then the lowest, weakest light saw something interesting. She yelled up to the branches, Please, this we must discuss. She said, From here I plainly see a stand is holding us. Black pupils drooped in every eye, as low as they could go. But all of the rest were just too high to see so far below. And star, the farthest from the floor, just couldn't see from there. So there on top of his own world, he glanced out in the glare. Are all of you believing her? Why do you think you're going to fall? Who shines the greatest in this room? Trust me, I'm over all. So then in unison they sang in perfect harmony, We don't believe in anything if it we cannot see. That said, he then the lowest light. Again she tried to shout, but all she did was flicker some, and then at last burned out. The stand was doing 